Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Brian again with Full Time RV Living. And today's episode is going to be about the Kodiak solar generator. I've been trying I've been trying to Kodiak for about a month and I really want to give you guys numbers, actual numbers about my experience and the one month that I've been using the Kodiak. So the main reason why I really why I got the Kodiak was because I wanted to power my refrigerator. Just because it's a small, it doesn't mean that it doesn't consume a lot of wattage. Well, at least for a solar system, right? If you want to power the refrigerator with the Kodiak solar generator, and your solar generator is fully charged, which is 12.40 or 41 uh, voltage, if it shows in there on the little voltage that it has 12.40 it's fully charged that right there is uh, something that I kind of figure out because I didn't know it was supposed to be charged at 1220 something that's what it says in the manual in the but apparently it's fully charged into 12.40 okay the other thing is that with that fully charged you will be able well at least I was able to power this refrigerator for 20 hours you know I was opening uh, opening it like normal like to get like a soda get food you know I wasn't trying to to live it like that because you know it will all the cold air is, it was gonna come out but you know you have to really be smart with this thing so uh, fully charged the Kodiak you will be able to power this thing 20 hours okay after that your battery will be completely dead like almost dead almost there because uh, this consumes 45 watts per hour that's those that's why my, my numbers but honestly I'm uh, you know I say that it will consume around 50 watts per hour I'm giving five extra watts just in case so it will consume around 50 watts per hour it will last you about 20 hours you know just to let you know that it's not gonna be like 30 hours or don't expect that it's gonna be like three days powering this thing because it's not gonna be like that. Now I was using my gas generator at the beginning to power to charge the the, the solar generator. Now if you were if you were to add like a, a solar panel, which I already did, you will be able to power this thing for 24 hours. But it really depends on the sunlight that you're getting, how many hours you're getting, like a really good like strong light to to for the panels in my case I will say that I started to get good lights good sunlight uh, around 8 from 8 a.m. all the way to 5 so that'll be 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 that'll be nine hours then I'm getting like a really good sunlight but I'm here in California so if you are in a different place, you know how many uh, sun, you know, sunlight you will get. But here, I I get at least eight hours. So that, with my 100, uh, 100 watt panel, solar panel, I probably get let's say not 800 watts, but probably let's say 700 watts. Around 700 watts, I get during the day. Now, if I wanted to power this thing, you do the math also. Uh, basically, let's say. I will be getting around 800, 800 watts with my solar panel, right? So this thing right here will consume around half of those 800 watts, which is because I say that it's it's uh, it consumes 50 watts per hour. So in those eight hours, will consume around 400 watts. Now, uh, from from that point. All the, all the way till the next day I will have to be using the energy which is a store in the in the solar generator so I will be using around uh, an extra 600 watts for the next day you are able to use it 24 hours I haven't done uh, you know I, I haven't actually I haven't tested like through to see how long it lasts because the idea is that uh, at least I know now that if I add an extra solar panel I will be able to power this thing like just like 
for now I have one solar panel giving me like 100 watts per hour and it's going to my solar generator which I'm going to show you right now where I uh, where I kept it and uh, how I did the installation is super easy super easy you can't get lost with this and if you actually are installing your solar panel you have that many options too you can go on YouTube and search for these options which uh, the one that I chose uh, was to go with the BHB tape um, that was like probably my best options because I didn't want to drill holes in this camper which is you know it's old and I didn't want to put more pressure on this clean super like super good the spots where this was gonna be glue the the the, the BHB tape and you have to clean very well all the area like you have I, it took me a while I didn't want to be thinking every time that I was driving you know through not let not let not this be the day that my panel is gonna come off that's kind of stressing because you are like always thinking like oh man my panels I'm still with that stressing right now but I try to make as much as possible what I really want this to to be like permanent you know so I clean I use like sandpaper and my roof actually is uh, al aluminum so it's actually uh, for this kind of material it's even better so I use like sandpaper I use rubbing alcohol I clean really well the area I actually bought the the solar panel mounts uh, which I bought them on eBay it cost me around hundred and twenty five dollars uh, because I order five sets because I have five solar panels which I'm not gonna be able to put all of them in here but I'll put some of them and the ones that is gonna be enough for me I had to buy the BHB tape which that was probably an, ex an extra $25 and I had to buy I bought a attorney a uh, attorney tape on looks like a tape which is like super good for that too and it will I bought like uh, uh, silicon and you know I try to make as much you know I really want to do something really good with that because I didn't want to be thinking that it's gonna fall off on the freeway so I think they're pretty good right now I I tried them I've been driving the, the truck a lot also and um, and yeah it's not coming off and I've also tried to take them off with my own you know with my hands and it's not coming off so I will say I will say that it's it's good the BHB tape you know so um, now um, the other thing is that the refrigerator I actually use it right here and uh, that's how it's gonna last you for 20 hours not a hundred percent but 50 percent 15 and my solar generator Ah, oh, there you go. It's right there. The place where I put the Kodiak on my camper is really ventilated. That's something very important that you have to do. And you have to make sure that it's uh, well ventilated. The main idea was that I was going to put the Kodiak over here, right? But uh, it didn't happen like that. I think it looks, this looks better. So, the other modification that I did is that I actually connect, I connected my camper, all the camper, so this is basically charging my, uh, the battery from, for, from the camper and is actually powering everything. So, now I kinda, I know how much, what's, how much electricity I'm using. All right, so just the Kodiak to be just to be uh, on and to power the little inverter inside and the fan. It uses around 14 watts. Let's say 15. Now, if I power the refrigerator 15% you can see let's say 70 70 watts 
it's using 70 watts right now but we take the 15 watts that we use for the uh just to power the 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 inverter and you will get like 55 watts but you know you know you don't use those 55 watts all the time because the the little compressor is going to kick like three times and it's going to it's going to be on probably for about 10 minutes so let's say it's, it'll it'll be like like 50 watts that's what I 45 watts but the, the other good thing is that uh, I power everything and I'll show you right now this light right here I'm gonna turn off the refrigerator now I turned off turn off the refrigerator and now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you I have all my camper lights connected and everything and you'll see that right now like I have my my light on. If I turn it off, I know that that I know that that light will actually consume around 15 watts. So if I power everything on my camper, I can see how much uh, electricity I'm using. Right there is my fantastic fan and I'm using about 20 20 let's say 25 watts so I can see I can see everything like if I if I power everything on my And I will I can actually see how much uh, electricity I'm using and I know that you know my solar panels are working and everything so I'm also charging the battery from the from the camper so hopefully I will not be left without energy because I'm, I'm gonna solve the other solar panel next week which I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna keep doing the video but for now I use around a hundred, let's say a hundred and five watts. And I have, power, I have everything on. I have my fantastic fan. I have this light on. I have this light on. I have this one. I have this one. I have the one over there. And I can actually still power everything. Um, I can power my fan, which I use every night. I totally recommend you guys this fan because uh, I can actually power my cell phone. I can power everything in here, and I know that uh, that everything is fully charged. The battery from here is fully charged and. It works super good, guys. My camper attached to this thing right here, positive and negative. Gotta make sure that it's the positive and negative so you can connect the wires that come from the uh, camper that you can actually use those wires to to connect those to the battery of the truck and then that way you will be able to charge the battery on your camper but I use those wires I put them on the Kodiak generator and now I have I'm powering I'm, you know as I told you I'm, I'm I'm charging the the battery also with my solar panel which is great um, ventilation is very important Make, make sure that, that that thing is well ventilated. Just want to say that. Now let's go. So, this right here is the installation that I was talking about. Um, 
Yeah, so this right here is the um, solar panel mount. Uh, you have to drill over here. So basically, this is the solar panel. It's 100 watts. This is where I connect the. This is where I send the wire to my inside the camper, and I will actually put another solar panel over there. I will put. I will try to put another one over there. And I'll try to put another one over here and here where I'm sitting right now. I don't really know if they're gonna fit, but I'm gonna try to do my best. Uh, and yeah. This right here is the eternity thing that I was talking to you, talking about. And as you can see, it's really sticky. And with time, it, it gets stickier, I guess. This right here, I put like silicone so it doesn't get to the BHB tape. The BHB, BHB tape, it's, it's right here underneath. So, that's what I did. As you can see, it's kind of using you know I don't think that wind can get super strong in here because it actually cuts the air from in the front but as you can see it's really it's it's in there it's not going anywhere I think I hope that it's not going anywhere right but yeah I want to show you guys and if you're planning to do this right here uh, this works and so far it's good it's doing super good Woo. okay so guys I'm gonna do the next video with the other solar panel but for now it's uh, I'm giving you some numbers so you all know that this actually works and you, it's possible to have your refrigerator um, it's possible to have your refrigerator guys uh, and your AC also but you will have to get like 600, 600 watts of panels which that's what I'm trying to do but for now I have 100 watts and so far so good I think that with the second solar panel I'll do great now with the third one, I'll, I'll have more power than, than what I need and the fourth one and so far, I'll be able to power all my everything and I'll have uh, unlimited power. Now you can uh, leave the solar, the, the generator, you can leave it uh, on 24 hours. Uh, that's what they say, but I'm going to try that too and uh, I'm going to keep posting videos about this uh, great solar generator so guys if you uh, want to subscribe or if you want to uh, leave a comment or if you want to you know if you like this video you can go ahead and subscribe and I appreciate that you guys are you know taking the time to, to watch this video and I'm doing this for fun you know and I try to help uh, as many people that I can and I hope you guys like this video I will see you guys next time